Hi, so my name is uh, Daniela Rabiser and I'm a technical product manager at Dynatrace. And I'm very happy to be here and uh, share with you uh, today how easy Dynatrace makes it for you to keep up with uh, the latest and greatest monitoring bits in your uh, OpenShift environment. So um, let me start with, with a question. So for the ones who are running microservices applications on uh, OpenShift, uh, Kubernetes or any other platform, so how often do you guys release new versions of your microservices? So we at Dynatrace, we do this uh, 26 times a year, so we do have a, a team of 600 plus developers releasing every two weeks new features, new capabilities that are available for our customers. And um, so we started out in 2011 with releasing uh, only two major releases per year. Um, and when uh, 2016 came, came along, we were able to do 26 major releases of our Dynatrace SaaS offering and do 13 major releases per year of our Dynatrace managed, um, of our Dynatrace managed offering. So we are full, uh, fully engaged to, to our DevOps journey and we are um, going towards a, a no-ops culture with, within our organization. And let me ask you another question. So how cool would it be uh, if you got this fresh dose of monitoring automatically deployed to your OpenShift clusters? So I'm very proud to introduce today the Dynatrace One Agent Operator. So you may have heard Chris Morgan talk about the operator concept during the keynote uh, in, in the afternoon. Um, and it's, it's very great. So before diving into the details of the one agent operator, let's have a step back and talk about uh, operators in Kubernetes. So like Chris Morgan um, described it, Operators in Kubernetes allow you to put operational knowledge into software. Operators are available since 2016 uh, and allow you to automate tasks that have to be done manually uh, by humans otherwise. And last week during KubeCon, the operator framework was announced which provides developers with an operator SDK, uh, but also with a lifecycle management. So with the operator framework, it is now easier to build and provide an operator. And Dynatrace is one of the very first partners to have such an operator for the Dynatrace One agent ready. Uh, we worked together with Rob, who was also on the main stage during the keynote in the afternoon. Um, and we got feedback from the team who uh, implemented this operator SDK. So our uh, operator implementation also got peer reviewed from Rob's team. And this was a very um, nice uh, and, and valuable collaboration. So let's have a closer look uh, at the value add the one agent operator brings to you. So the Dynatrace one agent operator on the one hand uh, manages Dynatrace one agent deployments. So the operator allows you to roll out um, the one agent onto your OpenShift cluster nodes and it also allows you to control in a very fine-grained way to what nodes uh, the one agent should be deployed. So you can uh, select 
specific nodes um, that the one agent should should go to, should run on, uh, and you can also exclude nodes that should not uh, have the one agent on them. And the second uh, capability and value add of the one agent operator is that it allows you to perform updates automatically uh, as soon as a new one agent version is available. So in the event of a pending one agent update, the one agent operator takes care of recycling all the pods that have not um, yet been updated to the latest one agent version uh, and takes care of updating them automatically. So um, in, in like one sentence, the one agent operator ensures that uh, you are monitoring your OpenShift cluster with the latest and greatest one agent version. And uh, as of today, the one agent operator source code is also available on a GitHub repository. So if you're interested in the details, how, to, how we built the one agent operator, uh, check out the GitHub repository. And you're also invited to contribute, uh, to engage uh, into a discussion with us. So just check out our GitHub repository. Um, and speaking of GitHub repository and, and source code of the one agent operator, uh, let's talk about uh, the details, how it actually works. So um, in the first step, um, or on, on the one hand side, the one agent operators, uh, operator watches out for custom resources of type one agent. The one agent operator also takes care of one agent deployment via a daemon set. And last but not least, uh, the one agent operator updates the one agent to the latest version available. And therefore, uh, the one agent operator constantly queries the Dynatrace API to check if there is a new version available for a given deployment. And all these details uh, are also explained uh, in a blog post that is available on Dynatrace.com as of today. So if you have uh, further questions or want to know further details, you can also check out that blog post. But for now, what do you think of um, getting a, a glimpse at how the operator works? So I have prepared uh, a short video um, that will show you or that will show how the one agent this operator is rolled out to an OpenShift cluster uh, and what you ultimately get when the one agent uh, has been deployed to the OpenShift cluster. So let's quickly switch to the video. So what you see here is as a first step, we do clone uh, the one agent operator Git repository to have it also available on the machine. We then follow the guidelines that are available on the GitHub repository to install the one agent operator. You just copy and paste all the commands. And then we check the deployment. We check if the pods that we are looking for are available. In that case, we are looking for the Dynatrace one agent operator. If it is available, and as you can see, it is available on the cluster. And then we again check for the pods. So for the pods, there, the one agent operator is already ready, but some further pods um, are still kind of like spun up. So we do the check another time and wait when the pods come to play. And then we finally see that all the pods are available.
And now we switch to the related Dynatrace environment where we do have set up a multi-cloud environment. And then we focus on the OpenShift nodes. And then we see that we are currently in an unmonitored state, but if we do a reload and be a little patient, then we see that now the OpenShift nodes are available in the Dynatrace environment. And that's it. And um, the cool thing is we do have this um, environment that, that you've seen just here in the video also available at our booth, at our Dynatrace booth, number 417. So if you do want to um, get a demo, um, if you do want to talk about the one agent operator, about all the details, head over to our booth uh, and, and let's, let's have uh, another discussion about that. So we've seen how easy it is to deploy the one agent operator. Now let's think about what it means. So from our perspective and also when talking to Chris Morgan, we think that operators and the one agent operator, um, so having Dynatrace together with a Red Hat OpenShift uh, is like the foundation for a no-ops journey, um, and it, it also is a, a big, big first step towards self-driving IT. So it focuses on automation. So we at Dynatrace think that automation is key. We also put the, the Dynatrace API first. So when we do put new functionality into the product, we also think about how to you know, cover this with the Dynatrace API to ensure that automation is possible. So that is, that is a perfect step in that direction. And I already mentioned that you should definitely head over to our booth, but what you also should do is you should definitely check out uh, the Dynatrace free trial because we also think that seeing is believing. So try it out for yourself. Maybe use uh, the one agent operator to deploy the one agent onto your OpenShift cluster and check it out uh, for, for your own uh, environment. So that's it what I wanted to show, what I wanted to share with you today. Thanks for your attention.